Paul said, I did not come to you in excellency or speech. We've come to a place where we talk too much, we speak too much, and we don't demonstrate. But Paul said, I did not come to you in excellency or speech, but I came in the demonstration of the power of God. The Bible said, if God is for you, who can be against you? If God is for you, who can be against you? And the Bible said, where to? Or three, I get it. In my name, I'm there. We are more than two. We are more than three. So the integrity of the scriptures, the word of God. God is already here. Amen. Amen. Dr. Barry, come and stand by me. You know, my wife is so beautiful. When I look at her, my heart skips a bit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She's so beautiful. And we're going to be ministering. We want to just demonstrate before we get into the word of God. We want to just uh, release the prophetic. We're going to be ministering to as many people as the Holy Spirit would, would allow us to do. Amen. Amen. In our generation, we need people to see the power of God. Amen. Oh, you do not hear me. Dr. Barros, come. In our generation, we need people to see and experience the power of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a mighty God. Hey, Modruk, Modruk, how are you, my friend? Stand up, my friend. Yes, you, 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 yes. Stand up. What's your name? Jim. Jim? Timothy. Timothy. Turn around. That's it. It's over. The storm is over. The storm is over. My God, Cassandra. Don't be in a hurry to see now. I don't know you. You don't know me. But when I looked at you, God gave me an open vision. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. The year 2000, 2006, 9.35 in the morning, the temperature was 45 degrees. Cold, snowing under. You went through a devastation. It was February the second on a Thursday. February the second on a Thursday. And you went through this thing. And this thing is still lingering. You're still going through. The enemy is coming against your finances. Anytime you are about to get close to your blessing, the enemy blows it. But I hear the word of the Lord. The, the enemy whom you see today. You shall see no more. Lift up your hand. God is causing prosperity. You are blessed in the house of the Lord. Somebody got to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I feel the glory of God here. Amen. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What is your name? Damar. The glory of God. The presence of God. The power of God is upon you. You are walking. Eh? You are walking a season of blessing and favor. Many are called, but few are chosen. God is elected and pick you up. You are wonderful and fearful made. Uh, you see, when she was in the womb, when about four months, the enemy tried to destroy her. But I hear the word of the Lord. She's special. And the hand of the Lord is upon her. And God is going to use her. God is going to bless her. I see a light. She is going to be an Esther to her generation. Be blessed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The glory of God is here and God wants to do it. Say, I want you to stand up. What is your name? Jim. I heard the word of the Lord when I'm giving you that truck. I see a truck, a Ford truck, big truck, and God is giving to you. God said the equipment that you desperately need, the equipment you desperately need, I'm giving to you. God says it's getting ready because the last two weeks you have been talking to your friend, even Ken, 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 Ken. And what I'm seeing is that God says, I'm going to do it because this 
business you want to put uh, together is going to happen. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing oil all over your hands and everything. You are Mr. Fixer. <laughs> You're fixing all this thing, but you are jack of all trades. You have been through some challenges. Lift up your hand. Put your hands down. I'm looking at you and I'm looking at the sky, very bright, very beautiful. It was 89 degrees. So it was a warm, beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, oh, God, I give you praise. I want you to put your hand on your heart. The things you went through, even the health challenges, the, uh, uh, the things you went through because of all this depression, the in the ache you went through, God said, I'm taking it away. You will not have, you will not suffer hard condition, hard problem. Hear the word of the Lord. Even that which has run through the, the generation, I, I, I'm releasing, destroying, d- delivering you. And I saw in May, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I see it now. Uh, May the 20th, oh, 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 thank you, Jesus. On a Wednesday, the year 2009, thank you, Jesus. The year 2009, May uh, the 20th on a Wednesday at 335. You've gone through this thing. You suffered this thing. But God said, no weapon that is formed against you again shall prosper. God said, I'm turning the things around. I'm turning your finances around. Even that cottage, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, that property you are believing God for, it is a done deal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's your name? You can stay. What's your name? George. George. Ah, that's a good name. My brother is George. George, I hear the word of the Lord and God says, son, all the confusion and the frustration is going to stop. For God says, you've been through so much, the struggle, the struggle, the struggle, and it's really almost lowered your self-esteem. Even you yourself think and know, I should be further than I am right now. So it's been a real frustration, but God says, son, I'm beginning to remove some people from your life. I'm looking at you and I begin to hear a conversation. And in the conversation, it's really not godly and it's not holy. It's almost the enemy has sent some people on an assignment to keep you from your destiny. But God says, son, I'm about to remove them strip them in fact get your phone and delete some numbers God says delete 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 and as you delete God says the Holy Spirit is going to strip them out God says son every time you try to take one step forward you'll push two steps back and it's the pushing back that's causing you the frustration God says son I'm looking at you I see two friends almost about a year and a half 18 months to two years two years ago and they got in some bad situations and God says says son I preserved you I kept you because you could have been pulled in even now your life would not be existing but God says I spared you because of some prayers that have been made over your life now is the season the Lord says son come to the cross amen come to the cross give God praise in the house of the Lord hallelujah actually while I'm just right here what's your name you mm-hmm. yeah stand you. up quickly my you're gorgeous Hallelujah. Oh, you're so pretty. What's your name? Nancy. Nancy, I hear the word of the Lord and I'm looking at you and I see books all around you. So that I know that there's more studies for you in education. God says, daughter, I'm providing for your education. I see you at one level, but God is going to open a door because I see you at a second level in your education, which means you'll be go, go beyond a first degree, even to a second degree. But a time and a season is going to come where there will be a doctor behind your name. God says, daughter, you are blessed and highly favored for I'm going to do a fresh and a new thing in your life. For God says there's so much favor 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 upon you I see you position even the institution that you go to you're going to have favor with a dean and favor even with instructors and time and a season is going to come even where they ask you to assist one advisor or one faculty member in that institution God says daughter you are blessed you are favored I tell you you you're going to go very far you're going to have influence in your community there's so much grace so much favor God says that you're a uh, thank you Lord God says you're a prayer warrior I'm I'm listening to you pray and intercede and go before the throne of God. God says, woman of God, there's power in you. A day, a time, and a season is going to come where God is also going to use you in the house of the Lord. Amen. Wow, 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 wow. Isn't God good? I want you to stand up.
Sir, stand up. It is going to be okay. What is your name? Jose. Coco Master's amigo. That's all I know. All the tears are over. All the pain are over. You've been going through some challenges. The enemy have set you up and bind you and put you in, into the shell and you cannot get out. For the last 15 years, you have been going through trauma. The world calls it bad luck, but in the kingdom of God, the enemy has come against you. It's been set up because 15 years ago, March the 6th, you and Alejandro got into it. And he cast a spell on you. But today, it shall be broken. Today, it shall be broken. All the pains you've gone through, all the challenges you've gone through, the enemy shall not put you in prison anymore. The enemy shall not uh, 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 put you in this shell again. You are here. There's anointing. The glory of God is here. And God is going to set you free. Lift up your hand. All the pain, the accident, the works of the enemy, the scheme is broken today. Yeah. Hear me. Let all the anger go. Let all the anger go. You got to forgive these two people. Let the anger go. Because it's not going to do you any good. Let go and God will set you free. Do you know Jesus? Have you given your life to Jesus? Good. Let it go. Let it go. Because what happened on Thursday at 2.35 in the afternoon, God wants to turn their things around. God wants to turn, turn around. God wants to turn it around. Lift up your hand. Say, I'm free. No, you are not free. Say, lift both hands. Say, I'm free. No, you're not free. Say, I'm free. In Jesus' name, you are free. Give God praise in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prophet, sorry. I'm way back here. You can't find me, can you? Okay, go ahead. No, actually, here's a gentleman. I'm, I, I, go ahead. Go ahead. They're in the overflow. So okay. there's some people in this little overflow okay, room sure. back there. So let's Thank just you for, minister yeah. to you. Go ahead, What's Dr. Your name? Victor. Victor, I hear the word of the Lord, and God says, son, hmm, I'm coming to give away where there is no way. I'm coming to make a way where there is no way. You've almost been backed up into a corner. And I'm looking at you and there's just chaos all around you. You're, you're in a corner and you can't see a way out. But God says, I'm coming to make a way out. For even the situation, thank you, Father. Even the financial situation that you're dealing with right now, it's almost causing a confusion. Uh, it's a little bit, I'm going to echo, sorry. But it's all, almost causing a confusion in the home, let me say that. And so there's a little bit of turmoil. I'll just be nice about it. There's a little bit of turmoil going on even in the home situation. But God says, I'm coming to cause shalom, peace, even in your home. For the Lord says, even you need a favor right now from a man. And God says, I'm going to give you that favor. You've been crying out. Actually, even you haven't been crying out. There's another person beside you who's been crying out to the Lord on your behalf. And God says, because of the prayers of that individual and that person, I'm going to come and shift some things in your life and turn things around God is getting ready even to connect you to an individual who's going to bring you into a place of holiness and righteousness with the Lord for God says son you need to shake off the old garment and allow God to put on a fresh garment hallelujah God is a good God my God isn't God good isn't God good say I want you to stand up yeah stand up what is your name? Eh? Samson? Where's Delilah? No, 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 don't answer that. <laughs> That's a joke. I joke, you're my brother. I see you've come to the crossroad of your life. Lift up your hand. There's a business deal. There's a business deal. There's a business deal. And God is about to rock your well 
blow your mind and do it. I want you to turn around. Hear me. The deal is of God. He's going to give you a victory. I'm going to give you a sign. You are victorious. You are what? Victorious. You are what? I'm hearing, who is Victoria in this line? Who is Victoria? Stand up. Stand up. The grace of God is upon you. Stand. This is the double. The grace of God is upon you. You are victorious. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria, the grace of God is upon you. God is doing things around. Turn around. God said it is done because the business anointing spirit of entrepreneurship is coming upon you. The last six months, you have been calling to God about this financial breakthrough. God is touching. God is causing that financial breakthrough to come upon you, Dr. Bear, or pick Victoria, it from there. God says no more tears, no more crying, no more weeping. For God says, daughter, all even the broken heart that you went through. You need to come for one second. God says, daughter, the balm of Gilead is being applied to your heart now. Even the brokenness, the frustration, the crying, the tears in the midnight hour. For God says, daughter, you are my handmaiden. You are not a doormat. For God says, daughter, you went through a situation. You cannot unscramble scrambled eggs for God says daughter I did you a favor and the Lord says daughter now I'm getting ready to come in and restore and renew and make things all you are, you're gonna have a testimony you are going to have a testimony you are going to have a testimony for God says daughter you cried and cried and cried out to me now watch me come in I even see people around you and your family they were almost laughing and making a mockery because of the situation that you've gone through but God says I'm going to come in and I'm going to restore I'm going to revise and I'm going to make new and God says get ready there's a promotion that's due you Victoria, you are victorious. Victoria, you are victorious. Hear the word of the Lord. The six figures is coming to you. You are blessed. Financial prosperity. God bless you. Amen. What's your name? Sorry, before you just sit down. Who? Samson, it's a good name. Samson, I hear the word of the Lord and God says six to eight months ago you sowed a seed and you sowed that seed in faith. I mean, you really went beyond the norm. Let me say it that way. You went beyond the usual and you sowed that seed. God says now you're about to reap a harvest. And God says not only am I going to raise you up as a strong entrepreneur in the community, but God says you're going to raise up other entrepreneurs in the community. God is going to put it in your heart. I see you almost in an organization, association, almost like a fellowship something that God is going to put together and I see you working with some young people and giving them principles and ideas and insight and strategy in business God says man of God as you begin to do this thing you're going to raise up dominion ship leaders in the kingdom of God and even as you do this thing I see that it's going to happen not just in the city where you live but God is going to take it to another city and then it's going to go to another city and then to another city God says I'm going to provide promote you even a time a season's going to come where there's going to be an article written about you and how you're raising up leaders in the business community amen let's give god praise the, dr barrow uh, before we minister to this young man i'm going to minister to him i want you to get uh, in the overflow uh, uh, uh thank you i'm seeing a lady blonde yeah in a white. I Just bet I know it. who it is because I almost called her. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, that, that's what I sense. You know, thank you, wherever she is. No. Yeah. I just call her to I stand up quickly. Anyway. Quickly. Okay, good. She's the one. She's the one. I, I hear the word of her. the Lord. I'm drying your tears. Yes. I'm drying your tears. Yes. Last week on Tuesday, eleven fifteen in the morning after that phone call. God said, it will not happen. The devil's a liar. I'm driving things away. The enemy has attacked your health. Yes. 
had attacked this thing and you've been going through for the last six months you've been going through this warfare and I, I God said it is over today you're going to see the glory of God and even that thing you've been feeling at your left foot your left foot and it's affected your ankle your ankle and it, it causes lack of equilibrium and it causes you to fall it's stopping because it's the attack of the enemy i want you to turn around turn around turn around uh, ah master prosanda even this morning when you got up you are talking to god you say god have me lord I, I, I just need you to touch me god said all the tears you've shed I'm putting a bottle. I'm pouring up on you as a blessing. It is going to be done. You're free. God bless you. Come on. Go, go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Prophet. you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Gonna, this young man was in the overflow as well. Get, uh, and uh, he's a champion. Yeah, he is. Give him a word. Give him a word. Yeah. I hear the word of the Lord in God's God. son. I'm going to raise you up and you are going to be a businessman, but you're going to have dominionship and wealth come into your life. God says you are a leader and not a follower. And God says you are going to lead many into the way of the kingdom because you are going to wear two hats. Huh? God says you got, there's an anointing and a call of God upon your life. And God says I'm going to use you to lead people into the kingdom. And there's a strong evangelistic anointing upon you. And God says son, and I'll raise you up in business as well. Even God's getting ready to change some things even in the school for you in the atmosphere in your learning says the Lord God Almighty the Holy Spirit is getting ready to rework and do some things new in you son can you lift your hands for one minute I know it's a maybe a little request that you don't get very often but God says ha these hands mm, are going to lay uh, on lives and lives are going to be transformed as these hands are laid God says there's he there's healing in these hands young men God says I'm going to use you I'm going to take you far and wide I'm going to tell you something you may not even understand this but a day is going to come where you're going to have a name that's going to be known God says I'm going to raise you up signs wonders uh, signs wonders and miracles can I tell you mm. Almost when you are in your high school years, God is going to give you a business mentor. You're going to almost go for some kind of a program, apply for something. You're going to be handpicked, and it's going to set you into a leadership course that's going to transform your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Let's give a hand to Jesus. Let's worship him. Let's tell him he's great. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what church ought to be. Church ought to be fun. Amen? Amen. When we come to the house of the Lord, we want God to move, have his own way. Isn't God good? <laughs> Who wants a prophecy here? You lift up your hand. Lift up. Stand up. Go, go stand there. Do you believe what is going on? Yes. Go, 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 stand there. What's your name? Mark. Go, Mark. Go, just go, 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 go. Turn around. God said, quit begging him. Quit begging him. You are not a beggar. Quit begging him. For the last nine and a half months, you have been going through something. Say, God, what have I done to, to deserve this? That was on a Tuesday. And you are going, you say, God... I don't understand. The enemy has come against you, come against you. The, the, this morning, when you got up, you say, God, if you are there, really speak to me. Because I want the confirmation. Because you want to get into this project, you are afraid, and uh, uh, there have been a lot of challenges and other things. But God is going to give you a breakthrough. The spirit of entrepreneurship is upon you. Do you believe it? I'm going to tell you something. Lift up your hand. Hands. Put your hands down, Mark. You were a young man. You were a young man. This year is what? 2000 what? Let's go back at three years. What is that? 
Uh, let's go back another two years. How much is that? Twelve. Let's go back another five years. How much is that? So that would be year what? Eh? Hello? It would be what? 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 Let's go back three more years. Let's go back. Come on, let's go back. We want God to move. Hallelujah. What year would that be? 2004. Let's take another five years back. 1999. Yeah. Oh, my God. Two more years back. Eh? Some of you, I'm not even sure. Eh? 1997. It's what? 1997. 1997. Let's go back another two years. It will be what? What? 1995. 1995. Are you ready for this? Oh, let's go back another three years. It will be how much? 92. One more year. 91. How about four years back? 87. 87. One more. 86. Let's go back six months back. 85 and a half. I like that. I like that. 85 and what? So to be what? 19 what? 19. 85 and a half. So that Depends on the month in 86. Yeah, you, yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Let's align the Holy Spirit to help us. <laughs> 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 Let's align the Holy Spirit to help us. It will be what? June. June. Okay, let's stay there. Everybody start speaking in tongues. Come on, come on. Let's believe God. This is God. You see that God is not God. Okay, stop. Mark, turn around. Turn around, Mark. Okay, God, lift up your hand. June, June, June. Did you say June? June. Uh, thank you, Jesus. June, 1985. June, thank you, Jesus. June. Thursday, Gosh Debaranto Niga Bazanda, 14th. You're a young man. You were with this friend. Put your hands down. And then you got in trouble. Really, it was not in trouble because you're sitting in the class. Somebody did things, but three of you guys. And you laugh, but you are loud. And you are accused for causing trouble, confusion there. But you didn't do anything. And this spirit of guilt, the enemy has taken it, amplified it. God said, I destroyed that the year 1985. Thank you, Jesus. June. Uh, uh, June the 14th uh, on a Thursday what you went through the enemy has used that as a stronghold in your life and pulled this great through. but God is breaking that and pushing you to go forward in ministry and in business and the enemy has put a spirit of infirmity over your life this diabetes is not going to hold you back this blood clots it's stopping. For the last two weeks, you've been going through things. It's affecting your heart. And you just, oh, your palms sweat and other things. You don't know what you're going through. Your health. But I heard the word of the Lord. I'm about to cause a financial breakthrough to come. You are blessed. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Mark, God bless you. Where's Michelle? Because she introduced Michelle, us to this ministry. Right here, stand up. Oh, my friend, stand up. I've not talked to you for a while. 
Michelle, you have been going through challenges. But God said, I'm setting up for you to have your own Christian school. You have been going through things. And you've been, God, what is going on? What is going on? God said, I'm preparing you because you're going to have, first, you're going to be a principal of a school. Michelle, I'm telling you of your dream you had. Two and a half months ago, you had a dream. You guys were in the school setting, and they were calling the principal, and they turned around and they pointed at you. You said, Oh, maybe I'm not a principal. God is prepared. You're going to be a principal, one of a school. God said, Don't allow all this thing you're going through, all these challenges to stop you. Because God is training you. You're going to be a principal of a school one day. After that, God said, I'm going to give you a Christian school. You're going to have your own school. And God is going to begin to bless it. When you were 15 years of age, you and your sister doing this thing, did the leadership or not, and you are talking to your sister, I say, one day I'm going to have a school. And I hear the word of the Lord. It is a done deal. So don't let the enemy and the warfare that you're going through confuse you. God is going to raise you up. Not only a, a Christian school, but there's a spirit of evangelism upon you. And God is going to use you and minister to you. And God is going to use you. You're going to give life to people. So know the breakthrough is upon you. And you are highly blessed and favored of the Lord. Michelle, I hear the word of the Lord and God says, daughter, even in the next three to six months, don't let your faith be shaken, but there is going to be a little shaking around you. Let me just, I, it's a tough word, but there's going to be a little shaking around you. And God says, daughter, but you don't be shaken yourself. Keep your faith in me. For God says, there's almost... There's almost going to be a little stripping away. I don't even know another way to say it. But when you see it, there's a stripping. Because God says, where I'm taking you, some people can't go. I, I don't know another way to say this. It's true. You're finished? Amen. She says it's true. It's okay. Where I'm taking you, some people can't go. But God says you have a destiny. When you have a school, God says you are going to put together a curriculum. And that curriculum is going to be taken by other educational institutions. That curriculum is even going to be taken internationally. Because when you have a school, God says now you're then going to be asked to come to a school in another country. And then also another country. A time and a season is going to come where an international organization is going to fund you to do an education educational project in a developing country. God says, daughter, no, I'm going to raise you up to a great level. You are going to have governmental favor on your life. Amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. But look at me. I told, uh, I told leadership I'm not going to be long here, and uh, we're going to get into the word in just a few minutes, but uh, we're going to do something quickly because we don't want to leave you out so just watch me from this group uh, to the gentleman standing uh, okay the, 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 the gentleman that drank water just wave your hand okay this group I want you to look at me who wants prophecy you okay put your hands down what's your name I heard the word of the Lord I'm doing something in your family for the last six and a half months, you've been going through some things. And you say, God, what is this, all this confusion? God has put so much pressure on you that you get up in the morning and pray. And you've been telling God and making these excuses. Because do you know what? There's evangelistic, there's a call of God upon yes. your life. God is going to yes. use you. I see all this fire, this excitement. God's son is upon you. Amen. I have one word for him. What's his Hallelujah. name again? Jeremiah. I'm looking at you and you believe in God for a healing for somebody who's very dear to your heart and your family right now. And God says, you've been crying out for healing for them. But God says, son, I'm going to use you. 
Amen. God says, lay hands of the sick are going to recover. God says, lay hands of the sick are going to recover. God says, this healing has really been, you've been praying, praying, even telling other people, pray for so-and-so. God says, son, you do what I'm using you. Amen. You stand up, young man. What's your name? Prayer has been made for you. And God is raising you up. I see you being released. And God is going to use this a strong evangelistic anointing upon you. But I see you doing the Michael Jackson walk. You're running away from the call of God. The hand of the Lord is upon you. And God is going to use you. Hallelujah. I be God. Uh, okay. What's your name right here? Okay, good. <laughs> uh, you right there. The little one with the dots on. I don't know. She's going to begin to sing. Oh, come on. You know, you, you know you're not fair. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I was just calling, calling you to tell you that there's music and arts and Amen. drama on the inside Amen. of you. God is going to use you in worship. I see you on a stage. I see thousands of people listening to you. God says you're blessed and highly favored. Amen. Okay, let's go to another group. Let's go to another group. Uh, it, and, okay, let's start from this. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you stand up. You, what's your name? And Dokas, I heard you talking to Mary, and you say it's going to be okay. You're praying for Mary to be healed, and God is going to touch Mary. For the last uh, three weeks, that's prayer you've been doing. I see you, you just get up, write all this, and write this thing, write this thing. God said that financial miracle is taking place. You're blessed. What's your name? You, the gentleman, right? Yeah. It's There's okay, a financial breakthrough that. upon you. God is going to release you. God is going to cause that money uh, uh, to come upon you. And do you know, for the last eight months, you say, God, I want to get into this project. Dr. Barrow, pick God it from there. God says there's business on the inside of you. You're anointed for business. You're going to do business. You're going to succeed in business. God says, not only will you succeed in business, but you are a good man. You have a good heart. You have compassion. And God is going to use you to be a blessing to the community. You are going to bless... I a day of seasons come, I see you give a house away. I see you give a car away. God says there's dominionship on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand up. Have you ever received a prophecy? Once. A very long time ago. About eight years ago. About around there. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? The tears are over. Tears are over. Mm. Oh, Dr. Bera, go. God says, the tear I see you, and I see your head on a pillow. I see all the crying, all the crying. But God says, daughter, I'm going to put your tears in a bottle and pour them on you as a blessing. Even that family situation that you've been dealing with. Mm, yes. Even that family situation that you've been dealing with, the, the enemy has just come in and wrecked havoc, mm. done devastation, mm. to the point that you're dealing with this so much of the stress of it that it's causing pain even in your back area. Yes. No Thank you, Father. No even the guilt. pain in your back. But God says, Georgia, this day is that pain going. For he sent his word and it did heal. Turn around. Just turn around. Turn around. Mm. Turn all yes. the way around. Turn yes. around. God yes. says, stop. God says, the pain is no more. The pain is no more. Check your back. There's no pain. Check your back. Where's the pain? There's no pain. Ah, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Just before you sit down, say no more guilt trip. No more guilt trip. No, no, I don't hear. Say no more guilt trip. Twelve and a half years ago, September the 8th, there's a, a situation that happened. Don't worry, I'm not going to put your business there. It was 10, 15 in the evening. It's over. God has closed that chapter. Lift up your hand. Dr. Barrow, hug and tell her no more guilt trip. No more guilt. Church, say no more guilt trip. She's blessed. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Okay, let's move on. Okay, uh... Let's start from a, a pastor to this group. Who's never had a prophecy before ever, ever in your life in that group? You Only stand in up. this group. You stand up. Mm. Dr. Bero, start and I'll finish it. What's your name? AJ. AJ, God says I'm coming to revise. Yes. I'm coming to turn around. I'm coming to revolutionize your life. 
for God says son you went through a situation ah, let me just change you a little bit God says I'm taking you out of the cage yes mm. I'm taking you out of the cage you're a good man but God says you're gonna learn how to say no because of his friends Go ahead. because of three of your friends because of three of your friends one is already in jail because of your three friends one is already in, in jail. fact it's only God that kept you out of jail my God it's only God that kept you out of jail you, you like fine things but God says son you can have fine things mm. but it's not going to come the easy way mm. I, I even see I'm looking at you I'm looking about seven eight nine ten ten months ago you were offered a deal a situation that you could have undertaken but you didn't take it you think you just didn't take it God kept you from taking God it did you because of favor. where God is going to you do you understand what I'm talking about yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. God says, son, hmm. I'm looking at you. Almost you were like 10, 11, 12 years old. Mm. You were such a visionary about what you could accomplish in life. You, I know you're smiling because you know yourself. You had ideas. Mm. You had things that you could accomplish. But then you got later on in your teens late teens and you got caught up in some situations I'll just say it that way and so the dreams have been put on a back burner because you don't see a way to get there God says come to me and the dreams will resurrect Amen. the dreams will resurrect because I'm telling you Amen. there's leadership potential on the inside of you Amen. God's called you to be a leader he's going to raise you up if you say what I say if I follow him if I follow him, if I follow him, if I follow him, if you follow him, God is going to raise you up in dominionship. You are going to be one person that God blesses so much financially. It's going to blow your family away. It's going to blow your friends away. You have more than one idea. There are two businesses on the inside of you that are, yes, come on, laugh about it. There are two businesses on the inside of you. They've been held back because of where you are. But when you get to the cross, have you given your life to the Lord? And you get to the cross, you sacrifice give up everything God is going to raise you up in those two businesses Amen. it's going to transform you your family and families Amen. thank you father say I don't want to get in trouble one more time let me I'm not gonna put your business at church you gotta understand that we, Dr. Bera, now we are mature prophets. We shall never embarrass you uh, and we shall never put your business out. But that thing that your friend gave you on Thanksgiving, get rid of it. That's all. Get rid of it. Thanksgiving. It was 11.15. Get rid of it because something is about to blow over. No evidence. Hallelujah. Let's go back. Hallelujah. Get ready. We're going to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, let, let's, uh, where Hallelujah. was it? Uh, okay, let's go back. Uh, Dividing land right Okay, here. you stand anyway, up. What's before you even stand up, what's your name? My name is John. John, get ready. God is going to use you. There's an anointing upon your life. I see you watching television, watching a certain individual, and there's a fire that sparks on the inside of you. Yeah, come on, laugh, because God says this is a holy thing. God says, son, I'm going to take you. I'm going to use you. There's a platform that's going to be made for you. In the midst of all of that, I see you're going to study and even get another degree. And God says, son, eh, even in the midst of all of that, can I tell you there's business. There's international business for you. God says you even have already drawn up some things. God says go back, revise some things, and you'll see it come to pass and you're going to have favor with a political person Amen. what's your name Kim. Eh? Kim whatever no I'm joking <laughs> <laughs> I heard the word of the Lord it is going to be okay this property this property that the enemy is trying to violently take away and steal from you is stopping because you have been very concerned for the last two weeks, you, this harassment about phone call is driving you crazy. On Monday, I marched on 10, 12 in the morning. You had this phone call. You say, God, where are you? 
to turn around. God said, I'm not El Chipo. I'm El Shaddai. He will supply. Ah, he's done it. Give him praise. In the house of God. Woo! Okay, Dr. Barrow, let's get one more. I want to bring the gospel. I want to bring the word of the Lord. You know what? You raised your hand first, so you stand. Who Before is you even give for a prophecy, can I tell you one thing? I know I minister to you, but God says that you're going to have lands and property in another mm. country. You receive it? I receive it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Okay, Dr. Barrow, you told some, uh, someone to stand up. What's her name? I don't know her name. Uh, uh, um, uh, no, no, you told her to stand up, so go <laughs> because ahead. Because you said pick one more person. Oh, no, go ahead. Hi, Deborah, I hear the word of Deborah, the Lord. Deborah, I'm doing something in God the family. God says I'm healing your body. God says I'm Stereo. healing your body. <laughs> I'm healing your body. Yes. I'm healing your body. Four years I'm ago. I'm healing your body. Four years ago. Four years ago. Dr. Barry, go ahead. Just four years ago. Four years ago. Okay. As Dr. Barrow is talking to you, God is touching your back by your waist. And your legs. There's something in your legs. The left, the left leg. I want you to start stamping on the ground. It, it, it goes numb. It goes numb. Dr. Barrow, yes, just continue yes, ministering yes. Even, to even it. Even the you tingling that's going sometimes even to the feet area. God says, daughter, I'm removing it this day. I'm, even the thing that you've been concerned about that's in your family line, the bloodline, God says, daughter, it is not going to touch you. Amen. It's even caused you frustration and concern. I see you even say, you don't even want to say it, but you've been thinking it. Amen. Let me say it that way. But God says, daughter, it is not your portion. It is not going to touch you. Even today, God says, the tingling is going to stop. The numbness is going to go away. Even I see almost like a little peel or something or, or something like this. God says, daughter, it's going to be over. Amen. You're got to get a clean bill of health. There's so much we can do. Church, that's all what church is about and prayer. When leadership invites you to come for prayer, please come because the more you pray, there's an open heaven. We can prophesy till tomorrow because the presence of God is here. There's anointing. So when they call for prayer, don't say, okay, you guys go pray. I'll be with you in the spirit. Please be with them in the flesh. So just come. Amen. And let's all pull together. Uh, I, I, I'd like you to go on the stage, young man. Even as you're walking up the stage, God says, I'm elevating your life. Even as you're walking up the stage and you are at the focal point. God says, I'm going to make your life the focal point. For God says, you know, the funny thing about you, 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 you you're almost unassuming, but yet you have a, a charisma that's infectious. And God says, that is because of the anointing that's upon your life. A time and a season is going to come, I'm telling you. God is going to raise you up on a platform. Can you lift your hands for one minute? Prophet, where is prophet? Oh, prophet. Can you just stand behind him? There's a prophetic anointing upon your life. There's a prophetic anointing upon your life. God is going to use you as a senior prophet. God is going to cause you to know the deepest details and secrets of people's lives. I'm, open your heart and your faith. Do you see how prophet has been moving in the dates, the times, the seasons? God is going to use you in dates. to do it because he's going to take you to the business community who are going to need to see something unusual and God says you're going to show them the unusual and the supernatural through the power of God I'm looking at you in this so even I see another paper another degree another uh, uh, you're going to get some kind of I'm going to say paper but there's certificate, more education certificate, for you certificate, son certificate. I know you may not want to hear that but there's education for you that you're going to go through. But it's going to be good because you need this certificate for where God is going to take you. And God is going to raise you up as a powerhouse leader in the kingdom of God, but also in the business community. 
A day, a season's going to come. God is going to raise you up so high in business Amen. that even the politicians are going to want to get to know you. God is touching you. As Dr. Barrow was professor, I stood here and I saw a brand new book. They open a new page. You have just been saved and God is going to pour much into you. And I heard the word of the Lord. You are going to have your own business and you're going to have that ministry as the woman of God said. But God is going to cause you to affect. I, I, I'm, I'm seeing this vision. I, I, I don't know how you call it. Uh, I see like track stops, track stops. God is going to use you to begin to minister to uh, uh, track people stop people track and other things. You know, I, 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 I'm seeing that. By the hand of the Lord is a strong evangelistic anointing upon you and you need to be mentored yes. you need to be mentored okay let me get one more person let's give a hand to the Lord one more person I gotta preach I gotta preach I gotta preach I choose this one for you I gotta preach okay go ahead Prof. God says to you're you. gonna be a powerhouse in fact, can you just come one second? Go ahead. Are you calling me? Yeah, I am. Oh, okay, ma'am. <laughs> Lift your hands. Ah, see. Amen. <laughs> just touch the head. Yeah. The glory of the yes. Lord is upon you. Yes. The fire of God yes. is upon you. And for the last four months, you have this dream. Let me tell you this dream you had. You had this dream, and it was a big crusade. And you were, st oh, you were sitting down too. Yeah, I was just sitting and then you tried to sit. Oh my God. Okay, we have anointed. <laughs> we have a date on the prophetic. Okay, that's right. <laughs> but I tell you, God, there's so much anointing and call of God upon yes. your life. In fact, a there's a teaching anointing that God is going to raise you up in. Mm. I see you instructing people in the house of the Thank Lord, you, in the word of the Lord. And God is going to raise you up. I, 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 mm. You know what? You're almost going to be like a jack of all trades in the house of the Lord. Because God is going to shift you from one area in the house to another area to another area. Because God is going to train you in different areas. Because a time and a season is going to come. Hmm. I see what I'm seeing was your dream. You had this dream. Just a few months ago. And it was a big crusade. And people were ministering. People were getting healed. People were getting all sort of a breakthrough. And you said, wow, wow, wow. You turned around and you and saw you're yourself. On the stage. Go ahead, Dr. Barrow. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why God is going to shift you from Amen. place to mm. place. Because you're going to be trained in every yes. area of the I house of praise. the Lord. Mm. And then God is going to build a platform, raise you up. And you're going to have massive crusades to the point that people that you see now will want to be a part of what you do. Amen. Okay, go sit down. You'll be on television. Go sit down. You'll be on radio. You'll be on the internet. You're looking for more. Do you want more? Oh, come back. Stand up. Oh, come back. That truck, that truck you're praying for is already done. God is going to give you a truck. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus Christ praise, our friend. Where is your brother? Is that your brother like uh, yesterday or stuck? Where is he? Was it yesterday where you took? At midnight, God spoke to me and gave me a Run if you are there. Be seated, please. And we're going to get into the word. Turn your Bibles to John chapter 1. Stand on the stage, son. The hand of the Lord is upon you. 
the hand of the Lord is upon you. God is going to use you. God is going to anoint you, but you are having your own business. God is going to prosper you and give you business, business, business. You're going to work too hard. You're going to have a businessman, a building, a construction, business, and other things. And then you are also going to preach the gospel because God is raising you up and the hand of the Lord is upon you. About two o'clock in the morning, God wake me up and begin to speak to me about you. And God said, tell him when you come to church that I'm going to raise you up. There's an anointing upon you. God is going to empower you to get a construction business and it's going to be good. And God said, but the gospel, the gospel, the gospel, you will preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Prophet. My God. friend, Leo. You know it's fine. I want to do something a little bit different today, if you don't mind. Eh? Uh, there are people who are watching you online, and, and I really sense that God wants to release a word online. So if you don't mind, let's just pick one person. Okay, pick. Uh, people are, uh, people are uh, Dr. Beryl is saying that people are watching us uh, on the Facebook. There's uh, Tina from Italy. Tina, Italy, you are going through confusion. Yes. Confusion for the last... Four and a half years, you've been going through this thing. And, and there's been a lot of fear. Tina, you're not going to be lonely. I see God is bringing you the very man you are praying for. You believe in God and God is going to wipe away your tears. God is going to take away the loneliness and you are blessed. Tina, you are blessed. Amen. There's Nabila in Venezuela. Eh? Nabila in Venezuela. La Nabila. Whatever I heard the word of the Lord, you shall not be afraid. My sister in Venezuela, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of pain, and the God is protecting because I see some 91 over your life, and God is going to begin to protect you. I see some 91 over your life. God says, Daughter, don't be afraid anymore. Your friend, I don't know how you say it in uh, Spanish. Susie, uh, Susie, I see you guys talking and you guys pray. God is going to team you guys to really pray. You are blessed. Do you also have somebody in Facebook? Okay, who? Katamosh, Tebaranta, Negazanda. Randy Valdez, and he's from Dubai. Dubai, that business anointing is upon you. Randy, for the last three and a half months, you this project has uh, come to a standstill, but I heard the word of the Lord. Ah, can I not do it? Would I not do it? I'm going to do it. I see you talking to somebody called Ahmed, 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 uh, Ahmed, and God is just going to begin to stay up, give life to this business deal. You're going to see the glory of the Lord. Amen. There's one more person, Kabi in the UK. Kabi in the UK. There's a shift and there's a promotion that is coming upon you. I see some people even the office and all this pressure against you in UK, in the office, but God said even something about, uh, uh, I see something electronics, digital, and God said, I'm causing promotion, I'm causing blessing, but you are going to have this business. It's a project you've been talking about for the last nine months. Sorry, one more person, Sarah from Hungary. Sarah from Hungary. Hungary, I heard the word of the Lord. No more tears. Apostle, God is wiping her tears. For the last 15 months, she's been going through things. But God said, I'm going to begin to protect. I'm going to begin to bless. I'm going to cause my glory, my hand to come upon you. You need favor from a man. And God said, I will do it. I'm protecting you. Shalom, peace in Hungary. There's Zoe in Australia. Australia. Ah. There's a shift because I, 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 I see you in one city, but you're going to another city. You, you are about to move. Uh, the, this uh, uh, transition, and you are making a decision. God said the answer is yes. Go ahead and move to that city. I will do it, and I will bless you. Hallelujah. Halle Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus Christ praise of Ah. Worship Jesus. Come on, let's stand up and worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
that's what we want to do in Hungary Generation International. Not only evangelism, but also the prophetic. As they go around the world. Hallelujah. And, and people are going to be trained. And you're going to go to the marketplaces uh, uh, to minister to people, uh, uh, touch people. Uh, just like Jesus Christ sitting, uh, I mean, met the lady at the well. And Jesus Christ began to just give her just a word of knowledge. She went to the town, the city, and brought everybody. He said, Come, hear a man that has told me everything. And God wants to give us that anointing. It's a tool of evangelism. Let's give God praise. Okay, be, okay, be seated. God just spoke to me right now. Nobody talking. If you are here and you got pains in your body, I want you to stand on your feet. Don't talk. Just stand on your feet. If you are sick, if you're sick, if you have pains in your body. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. If you are here, you have pains in your body. If you are here, listen to me, those that are standing. If you got pains in your neck, I don't say you have pain in the neck. But you know, some people have got a ministry pain in the neck. I'm not talking, I'm talking about people who have physical pains. If you have a pain in the neck, lift up your hand. Lift up your hand. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just lift up your hands. Just come, my friend. Just come. Come to me. Stand there. How long have you had it? You, how long have you had it? Stand there, stand there. Ten years. Ten years. What's your name? Before you get here, you'll be healed. When do you want to be healed? Why are you standing there? Ah, come. Turn around. Okay, check your neck. Check your neck. Where's the pin? Well, I got surgery right here, see? Where's the pin? Oh, it feels better. Let's give God praise. <laughs> it feels better. Hallelujah! My God, I give you praise. Only those, look, I'm going to preach the gospel. What about, it's only those who have pains in the neck. Just lift up your hand. Brittany. <laughs> come, 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 come. How long have you had this? About six weeks. About six weeks. Just when do you want to be healed? Right now. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, check it. Let's see. Check your necklace. right here. It was right here. But where is it now? It's not there. Let's give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. He sent his word and he did heal. Hallelujah. Let me pick up uh, some people. Okay, thank you Jesus. Your shoulder. Shoulder. Can you have that faith? Stand. How long have you had it? Two years. Two years. Yeah. When do you want to be healed? Right this second. Okay, this second. Oh, no, no, stand there. <laughs> when do you want to be healed? Now. Okay, check it. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus. Don't Thank you, Jesus. Prophet. Thank you, Jesus. I want to hug the prophet. Oh. It's almost not there. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll turn more. <laughs> it's not there for now. Let's give the... No, no, hold on. She said it's not there for now. That means she's expecting it back. No, Where is the pain? I receive not have a pain. Okay. God bless you. Hallelujah. She's healed. Thank you, Jesus. Do you have any pain? Come, come, because I said shoulders here. Hallelujah. Stand there. What's your name? some years. Yes. Where is it left or right? Right shoulder. Say Jesus. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. One more time. Jesus. Now. Turn around. Okay, check it. Don't hit the prophet. Oh, we shall pray for the prophet. Okay, where's the pain? I don't feel any. Yeah. I don't feel any. 20 years and Jesus healed. Let's give God praise to the house of the Lord. That is Jesus. That is Jesus. Give him praise. 
Okay, I'll tell you what. How many of you know God doesn't have grandsons and granddaughters? We are all God's children. So if God is healed one or two or three, he's going to heal everybody. So now lift up those that are standing. I want every, if everybody sitting. You need a family breakthrough. You need a financial. I want everybody to stand. I'm going to pray that the anointing will hit everybody to bring healing to your finances, to your family. Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. Father, in Jesus' name, I curse the spirit of poverty in Jesus' name over their lives, the spirit of infirmity, pain, ache upon their lives. Father, heal them right now in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. For watching this content, I hope this was a blessing to you. If you're like me and you like to click on things, click on this, subscribe to our channel, and the content will come to you every time we post it. And remember, the best is yet to come.